What's going on guys, the Inhuman Beat Dead, I'm back with more Marvel Avengers Alliance. Welcome to a brand new episode of Avengers Assemble, where I take a look at a brand new hero and tell you if they're worth getting or worth passing. Now, now, in all of my infinite wisdom, I thought, you know, I've done characters when they come out, but what about those characters that were already in the game? What about them? So, I have gone back, starting from the beginning, and I'm going to tell you about every single character up to this point. First on the chopping block is Iron Man. And let me tell you why that's awkward. Because if you're playing the game, you already have Iron Man. And there we go, the review's done. So until next time, guys, I'll catch you- No. Uh, Iron Man is forced upon you in the prologue. He is the first hero you ever get. So this isn't more about whether you should get him or not. It's more about whether you should use him or not. And I'll give- You know, I'll do my usual thing, and then I'll give you some ideas of why he's amazing. Not nearly as amazing as the Amazing Spider-Man. Anyways. Puns aside, let us go back to the beginning of time. Iron Man! For those of you unfamiliar, I don't know how you could be at this point. Visionary playboy, billionaire Tony Stark is one of the founding Avengers, and thanks to the constantly evolving Iron Man armor, one of the more formidable combat assets in S.H.I.E.L.D.'s arsenal. His cynical demeanor disguises a deep belief in himself and the power of the human mind to invent its way out of problems. Yeah. Anyway, starting off, uh, he doesn't get much. He actually gets auto-targeting interface. He has a chance for attacks to have a 100% chance to hit and crit and gain true strike. And he's flying, so he's immune to ground attacks. Again, it's kind of hard to gauge his stats because I've ISO ISO'd him up. But anyways, his attacks are the Repulsor, Re Repulsor Ray. Repulsor Ray! It's a one enemy ranged energy tech that applies lock on, which means they take additional damage from ranged attacks. All of his attacks are ranged. His second move is the Missile Barrage, an all enemy explosion ranged, which causes burning. Taking damage every turn, defense reduced, cancelled by chilled. His third one is his only one that isn't an attacking, and is the Deflector Shield, a self tech buff with a two round cooldown. Does this have a cooldown? No, okay. It's a quick action and applies Deflector Shield. The shield effect absorbs incoming damage and prevents stun effects while active. He's obviously been buffed a bit since his la since uh, when he f when the game first started. And finally is probably his most devastating, the Unibeam. A one enemy ranged energy tech that has deadly crits and he gets Unibeam Focus. A Unibeam Focus increases the damage and accuracy of the Unibeam. But it's removed if not refreshed each round. What does that mean? He has to apply... He has to use Unibeam at least once during a round. I'm glad that says round and no longer turn, because that was annoying. He used to accidentally get rid of all of his stacks of focus by countering enemies. But anyways, as long as he keeps using Unibeam, that it keeps getting stronger. That's basically the idea. So, what's what's good about Iron Man? Well, his Unibeam, if you've seen my strategy for uh, defeating the Hood with so, over so many points, you know that Iron Man is a beast in any form as long as he's got the Unibeam. You apply some other things on top of him, make sure he's got stamina because the Unibeam uses up a lot. And, well, he'll one-shot anyone. Iron Man, it, most people don't think he's that strong because he's the first hero you get. But the Unibeam alone is a good enough reason to use him. I mean, become purely defensive with the other two, keep him healed up and stamina up, and he can Unibeam everyone to death. His Repulsor Ray is also good for applying lock-on to enemies if you have a ranged-based 
team, allowing them to do additional damage to people. Missile Barrage is a quick way to apply a simple debuff to everyone. And he even has a, de he even has a uh, little defensive grid he can apply. While this isn't the mo the best outfit for Iron Man, I'm going on the assumption you don't have any of the outfits and that this is just a peer review of the standard Iron Man, because that's what I do. I don't take their outfits or anything else into consideration. I just look at them. But even so, the Unibee makes him an incredibly useful person, and I recommend using him in combat. And if you don't, he'll come to your house and Unibeam you in the face. Unibeam! So, with all that said and done, I don't think there's anything else I could possibly say about him. He's a decent hero, and the Unibeam is, by far, super powered. I mean, of course, he has to basically become the only attacker in your team, but... Still, if you've got something that's in your way, a couple Unibeams will solve that. So much so, he has a weapon based off of this in, uh, Chapter 2, Mission 6, I believe. But anyways, that's, that's all I'm gonna say right now. So my recommendation is Iron Man, use him more. He's a lot stronger than you think. Anyways, until next time guys, I'll catch you all later. Asta.